Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Sold! Exclamation point. Uh, it's a it's wee hours of the morning. I had uh, worked at a client's card shop today. Um, they needed some emergency help. Uh, Absolute Sports Cards in um, Savage, Minnesota. Great shop if you're ever there. Uh, stop on in and buy a box from them. Um, today we had 260 in sale. We had a nice big uh, smoky collection order. It was a all New York Yankees, 25 cards, uh, $94. I won't show them all, but I'll kind of flip through and see if there's some interesting ones. Here's a Alan Ginter Mankiewicz. Got a real nice signature. This is a very common set people collect. Um, Steve Carsey. Uh, here you go. He's a kind of a cool Jeff Weaver. Ah, here's a good one. Spike Owens. 93 Upper Deck. Shane Raleigh. Nice 83 uh, tops. I gotta think a number of people probably were doing that set. Uh, Rondell White. Uh, I believe this is 03 Tops Heritage. And Denny Nagel, which is 2001 Tops Heritage. Uh, nice big lot, nice big sale. We're happy to get that. We sold one more multi-sig, uh, or multi-signed uh, card of Luis Cotto and uh, Luis Escobar. Uh, nine, no, 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 no. Fourteen, fourteen for that. We sold a couple print ads today. One is this really cool multi-page ad, and it's... Uh, it's the who who the hell does Nike think they are? It has Andre Agassi from that game where he uh, let loose on the court. Got a got a cool center, and then um, shoe ad. There's a shoe ad in the in there. And it's a, a more shoe ad. Uh, this is a really cool multi page ad. We got 20 ships for this one. I really do need to write down uh, where this one came out of because it's the second or third one that I've sold. Uh, this one gets pretty good value. The next one is a LeBron James. Now, this is uh, relatively recent. I, I, it, it's been the last ten years for sure. But I want to say it might even be in the last um, five years. Um, ten dollars ship for that print ad, and that came out of a magazine that I would have put in the dollar, the dollar bin. Had a Buffalo Bills program with Jim Kelly and Jack Kemp on the cover. That program went for 10. Uh, programs are slow sellers. Um, I have a lot of them and so you just put everything you got out there and then you'll probably sell a program or a magazine or something in that uh, category five or ten a week. But I have you know, three, four hundred listed. Uh, next up is some apparel. Got got a Minnesota Twins bear from. I believe this is dated. From the, this is from the '87 World Series. Thirty shipped on that one. Uh, really great starter. Vikings. It's got this cool double collar. 
sewn in. That was 25. A Minnesota Gophers, a very simple Minnesota Gophers tee, uh, $10 ship. I probably paid a dollar or two for that. And let's see what else we got here. Have a Notre Dame jersey with Notre Dame and the college playoffs. I've sold a number of Notre Dame items. Uh, this is Joe Montana's number. And this one has a lot of graphic loss on the numbers. So this was 20 shipped. It's probably only another $10 if it was in really good condition. So if you can get into those jerseys at 5 bucks, it's still worth picking up. Uh, the last item, let me check. Last item, this is a consignment submission. I wasn't really keen on listing them, but, you know, I was a good client, so I did. We sold five of these Duelist magazines for 25 ship. Uh, after shipping, uh, we will make a uh, mini, <laughs> a few, few dollars. <laughs> on uh, both sides but we we'll get rid of it some you know customers happy that they got them so that will work uh short video today um we will probably do all of sunday and then maybe do a video on monday um a little note to all you sellers ebay is considering monday christmas eve to be a shipping day so if you have same day or next day, make sure you get to the post office in time. They probably have some um, shorten hours that day. So go ahead and call your local post office. Make sure you get your stuff in a scan so you don't get dinged. Thanks for watching and have a great day.